Welcome. In this video, we are going to understand the refresh token, its functionality and the reasons to use the refresh token. We will start with the login and the access token flow. So here the client makes a request to the auth server and it is sending the credentials in the request. Auth server will verify the credentials and on successful authentication, a token is sent back in the response. So this token, it is short lived and it has an expiry defined in the token claims and it is the responsibility of the client to store this token at a safe place. In the next step, the client makes a request to the resource server along with the access token and this token is sent in the authorization header. The resource server further asks the auth server to verify the token and to verify the client is who he says he is. So upon receiving the successful verified response, the resource server will send the resource back to the client and in the process, if any additional information from the token is required, the resource server will be able to retrieve it. So far so good. In the subsequent calls to the resource server, the client will pick the token from the safe storage and it will attach the token in the request header. So we know the access token is short lived and it will expire sometime soon. So when a request is made with the expired token to the auth server, it invalidates it and a 401 unauthorized response is sent back to the client. Now to access the resource, we again need a valid token. That means we need to redirect the user back to the login screen. Now imagine being on Facebook or Instagram and getting redirected to the login screen every 10 minutes. So this will really be a very bad experience. To fix this problem, we will also be sending a refresh token along with the access token at the time of login and this should also be stored in the safe storage. We will use this token to generate a new access token when our old access token expires. A refresh token is also a JWT token, but the main difference is that it is long lived. Access tokens will have an expiry of five to 10 minutes, whereas a refresh token can have an expiry of three to six months, depending on your use case. So in order to generate a new access token, we will create a new endpoint on the server something like refresh and we need to send the expired token along with the refresh token to this endpoint. Auth server will validate both the tokens and if everything is fine, then a new access token will be returned to the client and the client will replace the old access token with the new one in the safe storage and the rest of the flow will remain same. Now think of a scenario where our refresh token is leaked. A hacker will be able to generate an access token using our leaked refresh token. So we need to have a mechanism to invalidate the refresh tokens from the server. So to handle this kind of a scenario, we will also be storing our refresh token in a refresh token store, which can also be a database table. And this store will be referenced whenever someone tries to refresh the access token. If the store does not have an entry of the refresh token, it will be considered as an invalid token. So in case of a leakage, the administrator can remove the leak token from the store, making it an invalid refresh token. 